welcome to Sing and Cook. My name is Chef Rapal and I am going to show you how to make a simple dessert, which is an Indian dessert, but an exciting one. Now, in India, we get cherries. Of course, they are good, but they are not all that good that you can match up with the international cherries that you get. No, internationally, you get black cherries, which are big, and the red ones are real big. In India, you get a little bit of off-colored, red, yellow. You get the red ones too. So what I'm doing is I'm making a cherry halwa. And I'm sure you've not heard of this before. So what we need to do is, you know, quickly take some ghee, saturated clarified butter actually. I'm just making for four people, two tablespoons of this ghee. Let this heat up to which I'm going to add semolina. Okay, equal quantities of semolina. And I've got a bowl full of cherries. What do you see here? Now roughly this would be around 500 grams of cherries. You need to pip them up. Now, how you do that is simple. This I actually don't need to show, but still I'm showing you here. Remove the seed, little painful, but the fun is in the beautiful halwa. That's what is important. Ghee semolina two tablespoons of this and you need to cook this cook it until it is light brown so this should take about five to six minutes or little more and you need to keep stirring all throughout now as it gets brown as you see here you need to add the cherries there whole full of them roughly about 500 grams of them and keep cooking see what's going to happen is the cherries are going to you know limp up and you'll get the nice flesh. It is going to become soft. So that's what's going to happen here. So I'm going to cook this until they become nice and soft and pulpy. Okay, that's important. As it becomes pulpy, the moisture, the water that oozes from the cherries would be absorbed by the semolina and it becomes a nice halwa. But we're going to add many more things after this. But first, mash this up. Cook it well and you'll see that in about three to four minutes, the cherries would become softer and you'll see the semolina swelling up, absorbing the moisture. That's what I am looking for, you know, so that's important. And I don't mind keeping some cherries whole, half, I mean, more than whole, it would be half, but some of them, more than half of them have to be pulpy, mushy here. That's what I would say. And had the color of the cherries been absolutely red, it would have been a delight to watch now. You know, at this point of time, it actually would have been a delight. Now, more than half of the cherries have been mashed here, pulpy. They have been absolutely mashed. There you go. What I'm going to do next is add sugar. Around five tablespoons of sugar. You can add a little less to. You see, what I'm doing is, I'm not making a sugar syrup here like generally what you would do for a halwa. I'm not doing that. I'm adding the sugar straight and you'll see why. There you see, now the sugar melts. The cherries would also get more mushier. They will get more pulpier and the semolina would get cooked further. Next step, add some koya, four large tablespoons of koya, some nuts into it, almonds, a little bit of almonds, one tablespoon, almonds, pistachio, about one tablespoon and some cashew nuts. You can fry them and add. You can add them when the halwa is hot so that the nuts also get cooked at the same point of time. Now cook this through and through so that it becomes nice and thick and add a pinch of green cardamom powder. Finally, just to enhance the color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three tablespoons of rose syrup just to make it look nice and red. There you see. The moment you add rose syrup, one, the flavor becomes beautiful and two, the color, beautiful. Now, if I had completely red cherries like what you get internationally, in India, generally you don't get. I'm not saying that you don't get, but generally you don't get. Generally, what you get is something which is a red, yellow and a mix and match of this and a complete red box is something which you not get or a complete black box of cherries is what you don't get. Now, this is ready, absolutely ready. A cherry halwa, absolute delight. Close this up. As it cools up, you know, cools down, it becomes thicker. 
At this point of time, you would be thinking, oh, this is thin. No, but you can't eat so hot. You need to bring it to room temperature and serve it at room temperature. You would serve not more than this big a portion to each individual. And this topped with a little bit of roast syrup on top. Wow, look at this. And only some pistachios to make it look nice and green. That's about it. Simple. Perfumed with roast syrup and the goodness of cherries. Beautiful. Simple cherry halwa.